guys and welcome back to our channel. Today I am so excited because I will be making the most popular Indian street food and yes, it is the Pani Puri. It is so addictive and so, so tasty. So for those that don't know what Pani Puri is, it is a small piece of dough. It is deep fried and then it becomes hollow in the middle and then you pop a little hole at the top. You add your fillings and some delicious tangy watery sauce. It is so, so good. So as you can see, I am here at the Big Bazaar. We're gonna get all the ingredients for this delicious recipe. So I want you guys to stay with me through this video. Let me know what you think. Give me some tips. And if you are a new viewer, don't forget to subscribe because with your support, we're able to continue making videos for you guys. So guys, it is time to make India's most popular street food, the Pani Puri. Let's go. have them like this. I thought I was gonna get them already pre-made, but the owner of the store says that these ones are better than the ones that are already fried. So I guess we're just gonna uh, pop this into some oil and then they're gonna puff up, which was really unexpected. I thought I was gonna get it already yeah, pre-made. So gonna Alfonso's gonna like it seeing it all puffed up. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we're gonna get the rest of our ingredients. Now, each state in India has a different way of making the pani puri. I want to do, so I've tried only one type of pani puri. The stuffing is a potato, so aloo chana with spices. So I'm going to stick with that, which I believe is called golgapa. It's from North India, Northern Indian. So um, we're going to try that recipe today. Let's go get the veggies. So we need to get potatoes. Um, and yeah, I wrote it down. A lot of stuff that I don't remember. <laughs> Okay, Alphonse, Alfonso already knows the way. <laughs> Alfonso, there's the potatoes. Okay. Let's grab, this recipe calls for two potatoes, but because I wanna make a lot of pani puris, um, I might just try getting four. But if I have some extra, maybe I'll do another recipe with something else. Those are huge. Yeah, we'll start with three. I have some potatoes at home. And then, um, what else? We need uh, mint leaves because I'm going to do even the sauce, like the chutneys from scratch. So let's go find the coriander and mint. So we got the fresh coriander cilantro. You want to put that in the basket for me, Alfonso? Yeah. He's my little helper. Yeah. And then we got some fresh mint leaves. Look at these fresh mint leaves. It smells so tasty. You could probably make a nice tea with that too. Alfonso, here you go. You could put it in the basket. <laughs> here, you can put... <laughs> okay, guys, let's find the other ingredients. Okay guys, so we got our dates. This is one of the better brands that the owner was recommending. Then we got the tamarind. So I'm gonna cube that up and then make the tamarind chutney. Uh, next we are going to find, oh, we're trying to look for a small bag of jaggery, which is like the cubed molasses. Um, so the owner of this grocery store is trying to find a, a bag for us. <laughs> Okay guys, we have all of the ingredients for this amazing street food. The guys in here are so nice, so helpful. Even the customers help me, like giving me tips about how to, you know, make it better. So I'm so excited. You guys have to come for, to this place to get your groceries, the big bazaar. So let's go home. 
We are making these panny pourries from scratch. I am so excited. Are you excited, Alfonso? <laughs> yes? Yeah. <laughs> and stay tuned till the end because we have a traditional Indian dessert and my professional dessert taster is gonna try it. <laughs> Okay guys, we just got back from the big bazaar and we got all of the ingredients for this amazing street food, the pani puri. Now, I'm gonna do a North Indian pani puri, like I said. Uh, I think the word is Golgapa style or just Golgapa. So as you can see, I have all the ingredients. I even have some of the spices that I got in my last homemade uh, uh, shy korma video. I just blended the coriander seeds to get a powder and blended the cumin seeds. As you can see, I got canola oil. This is what I'm going to fry the pani puri in. This is so exciting for me because again, I thought I was going to get the pre-made ones, but then uh, the owner of the store recommended I try it from scratch here. I mean, I could be rolling out the dough, but I got to have a little more experience for that. And then guys, I got the red chili powder. I got this tangy tamarind um, chutney here. I'm going to actually add that to the, um, what's it called? The mint and cilantro uh, chutney that I'm gonna add as well. Got the ginger, I got the chilies, I got the ginger here, the actual ginger. I got some thick tamarind. I can't wait to make this actually. Um, that's Alfonso's favorite, the sweet sauce he calls it. And then I got the molasses cubes. This is the jagger. I didn't even know that was actually what it was called. Um, got potatoes because the filling is going to be a potato and chickpea with the spices. Um, so guys, I'm super looking forward to jumping into cooking this. Let's put my skills to the test. Let me know how I'm doing. <laughs> so guys, first I'm going to go ahead. I already skinned the potatoes and I'm going to add them into the boiling water. This recipe calls for two potatoes. Um, so I have two potatoes cut up. As you can see here, I got the canola oil heating up. So I'm gonna do the potatoes first because I want them to cool down after. Oops. Probably add a little bit more water to that. So we're gonna let those go until they're completely soft and then um, a nice lady, like a nice customer at the grocery store was giving me some tips about how to make pani puri. Um, so she says you can take one of these and kind of dab it in to see if it's ready. And if it's like that, then it's not ready. It has to not be too hot. It shouldn't um, puff up right away, she said, and it shouldn't um, take too long like that. So it has to be at the perfect temperature. Otherwise, it's going to have like a burnt kind of flavor if it puffs up too quick. So we're going to let our potatoes cook, let this uh, oil heat up, and then the best part is seeing how it's going to puff up. Let's see it. <laughs> okay guys, so my oil is still heating up. I am going to work on making the pani. So for those that don't know, puri is the dough, okay? And the word pani is the sauce that I'm going to make right now. So the recipe calls for half a cup of mint leaves. And it says like if you pack it down, it should be half a cup. So half a cup of mint leaves. Then it says a quarter cup of coriander leaves, which is right here. So I'm going to pack it down. That is, where is it? Yeah, it's about a quarter. If I push it down a little more. So that, then we have one green chili. So I'm gonna drop it in. And then a half inch of ginger, drop it in. Oh, then it says one fourth the thick tamarind juice. So this is uh, why I bought this one. Ah, I don't need to put that on. Okay, one fourth. Oh, it's a lot. Mmm, that smells good. Okay. There we go. 
Okay, now we're gonna add some water. It actually didn't say how much, but I'm gonna say one, this is one cup. Let's start with one cup. Now we blend. Okay guys, that is definitely the color we are going for. I was a little worried at the beginning because it looked like the color of the tamarind. Okay, so, wow, it smells really good. I haven't even put any spices in it. So the next thing it says is to filter out the pulp. So I'm gonna put it through here. So this is that tangy, delicious, water that goes inside of the puri. I'm gonna just take my happiness is homemade spoon <laughs> and just go through it a little bit like this. Okay. As you can see the liquid's coming out. So I think that when, we, when I make like a mint chutney, um, I'll be doing the same type of thing, but I think I'm gonna, I think you keep the pulp. Oops. If I had a bigger strainer, it would probably be a little easier. There you guys go. You can see all the pulp in there. Okay. There we go. It's getting more and more. Look at that color. Looks really good. Okay. I'm gonna put this on the side. Let me put that here. There we go. Okay, and then the recipe says add two cups of water. One, two. <laughs> Yay, this is looking like, this is looking like the one at the restaurant. The only thing that I'm worried about is those purries because if they don't puff up, <laughs> then we're in trouble. Okay guys, moment of truth. This is where we find out if this video is gonna happen or not. We are gonna put the purries into this oil. So, here we go, we got our puri, and let's see what happens. Oh, it's sizzling, it's sizzling. Is it gonna puff up? Oh my gosh, guys, look at that! It is puffing up, let me flip it. Wow, that is so cool. I don't want it to get too, okay, let's take it out. Wow, guys, I made my first purry. I love it. Oh my gosh. We are gonna make a few more. Let's see if we drop, let's drop three in at a time. Okay, there they go. It has to be at the perfect temperature. What do you guys think? This is amazing for me. <laughs> they are puffing up. I wanna flip them a bit. Flip, flip. Oh. and good wow I love it this is so fun oh my gosh I never thought in my wildest dreams I'd be making this in my life thanks to you guys who support our channel like comment and give me the courage to make something like this take a look this is so fun there they go puffing up flip you guys can let me know what you think about my skills. Let's flip that. Whoop. 
I think that's great color. Um, one of the ladies at the stores was saying if it gets too dark, then it's going to taste bitter. This is amazing. Okay, let's, now I'm getting, let's do five this time. I don't know how it like puffs up like that. Maybe there's something in like the, the, is it baking soda? I'm not sure. You guys can let me know. Look at that. Ooh, I'm so blessed that this is working out. And they look great. Look at that. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so amazing, so fun. I am just so glad we can continue making this video. So I'm going to continue making some purries and then I took the potatoes off. I'm gonna start adding the spices and I'll show you guys how I do the filling. Okay guys, so the purries are done and now we are moving on to making the tamarind sauce. So here I have half a cup of dates, half a cup of tamarinds. These are, they actually had seeds in it but I took them out. So we're gonna put it in. Um, half a cup of the jaggery fruit. This is the molasses. Add a little bit more. And then it says two cups of water. One. Two. Now it says, I should turn that up. It says to boil it. So I'm gonna turn it up. Boil it for 10 minutes. And then we're gonna start adding our chili powders, cumin, coriander, fennel, ginger, salt, blend, pulp it out, and then enjoy, enjoy this amazing food. <laughs> so guys, my tamarind chutney is cooking over here. I am going to start with the aloo and the chana. So I'm going to put chickpeas in with the potatoes. Next, for the spices, one, teaspoon of red chili powder. I have some of these spices from my pakora video. So, one teaspoon, half a teaspoon of the chat masala. So, half a teaspoon. I feel like I needed just a tiny bit more. There we go. Um, it says half a teaspoon of cumin. Half a teaspoon cumin. One teaspoon of coriander. So one full. And then salt. I can add salt after. And then it says mix. So let's mix it. I think I need to kind of squish the potatoes with my hands. Okay. I think squishing the potatoes is gonna be better. Ooh, it smells so fragrant. This is what I love about Indian food. It kind of just um, makes your taste buds alive again, <laughs> like flavor. Wow, it smells really good. What do you guys think? Does this look like good texture? It looks, you know, like the color of the video that I was following. It kind of reminds me of when I make tortillas. I have to use both hands and like get the dough perfectly. Okay, guys. I am going to probably work at this a little more, but let me know what you think. I think the filling looks great. I'm so excited. Next, we just gotta make sure our tamarind chutney turns out great. And then we're almost at the best part, the eating part. Okay guys, it is time to devour these pani puris. Take a look at how many I just made here. Don't they look amazing? I am so, so, proud of myself <laughs> and all thanks to you guys who write me subscribe tell me to make this amazing street food okay guys now the best part is the eating part I absolutely love love these okay so 
take a look. And I was always wondering how uh, these were made. So now that I know, I think it's absolutely amazing. So now you push a hole in the center, make a little hole. And um, these are pretty sturdy. They're gonna hold like all the fillings. Next, we add the alu chana inside. This is that spiced potato. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. I might have filled that a little high. <laughs> and then we're gonna add the tamarind chutney. Okay guys, so I did uh, cook this down. I added the spices, I blended it, and then I strained it. So that's why I have like a, that consistency. Okay, so next, the pani. All the way to the rim, because you guys were telling me. Gotta have it all the way to the rim. And look, it's holding all those juices. Little bit of onions, cilantro. Look at that. That is the perfect pani puri. Okay. Mmm! Mmm! Oh my gosh, that is incredible. It is a burst of flavors. Like you never get over that feeling. Like the first time I had Penny Burry, it was like a memorable moment. I even remember the restaurant and everything. And just the explosion of flavor is unbelievable. Like, I don't know if you're gonna get that anywhere else. This street food is absolutely addicting. <laughs> it is so good. The, um, Tamarind chutney and the pani together is like the perfect sweet, spicy, tangy. Like my mouth just keeps wanting more. It's just like drooling and is begging for more. <laughs> so we're gonna make another one. Look at that. It's actually so easy to make a little, like a little cave for all this deliciousness. That was a huge bite for me, but it was really tasty. I like the use of like the potato and the chickpeas. I just feel like it really flows. And then you have some protein too. Tamarind, pani, to the rim. Wow, guys, this is so good. I'm so excited. Can't believe I made this. <laughs> it's so fun though for me. I love cooking. And did you guys hear that crunch? That crunch is like unforgettable. Mmm! Mmm! That was good. Mmm! I love like the crunch, the soft, the sweet, the spicy. And then like the onions too. They have that like, you know, fresh onion flavor. That is insanely good. Oh my gosh. Let's try another one. <laughs> We got a lot of de to devour, <laughs> but um, they are really addicting. I can eat, I don't know how many I can eat. I always say I can eat 30, <laughs> but you guys can let me know. Like there, I know that each state has their own way of making this street food. Um, so I'm kind of curious like what other states and what makes them different than the one that I just made. I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say. I always read your comments, so continue commenting. <laughs> yeah, and just let me know like how your Penny Puri is different than this one and what you guys think of my Penny Puri. This little ball didn't like get super big, but. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mm, 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 mm. I love it, I love it. I wanna find one more with like the perfect shape. That is the perfect shape. Sometimes, so it's a little darker here and then a little lighter here. You guys can let me know if this color is good or should it be darker? I think it's perfect because it's breaking through quite nice and it's not uh, chewy. And then this is a little bit spicy because maybe I put too much red chili powder, but when I eat everything all together, like the tamarind and the pani, then everything is just at the 
perfect um, taste. It's not too spicy at all. I love the making of it too. It's so fun. Okay, to the rim. Onions, cilantro. Oh, Mino Alfonso even saw that there was like um, a pani puri on fire. And we saw it in India and it was like these street food people and it was on fire and they were eating it. I didn't know that that like came in that version, but that is really interesting. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. Guys, we are going to sit here. We're going to devour all of these amazing pani puris. Thank you for leaving me the recipe below. Let me know if you have a different version of pani puri. And guys, stay tuned because my professional dessert taster is going to come out and try a new Indian dessert. So I am here with my professional dessert taster, Alfonso. <laughs> and we are here to try this Indian what? dessert. Yeah, what do you think? Look at it. So we are here to try this Indian dessert that the guy at the store recommended. Let me show them what it's called though first. Jalebi. Can you say jalebi? Jalebi. <laughs> so we are going to open it. I think something that they eat over there. Yeah, let me know if this is something that you guys eat over there. And which state is it from? Ay, ay, ay. Or maybe it's popular all over India. Whoa! Whoa. What do you think? It's like swirly. Take a look. Can I smell it? it smells, it smells like sweetness, right? So let's try one. Whoa, it's sticky. What? Yeah, it's got like sticky all over it. Oh, it's the, the chemicals. Oh. Are you ready, Alfonso? Oh, look at that. It's like a syrup. Maybe it's coated in syrup. Ooh. It's like a pre. Oh. It was very sweet. It's okay. like um. Bledsoe. It's like a piece of bread, but yeah, then it's like a pretzel. Oh, he's saying it's like a pretzel. Yeah, kind of like a pretzel. <laughs> it's like sweet on the inside. If you can see, there's even some syrup inside of this. I'm bite. Oh, Alfonso. <laughs> the the gentleman at the store is like, Alfonso's gonna love this dessert. Trust me. <laughs> you like it, Alfonso? Mmm. Two thumbs up. Oh my gosh, that is really wow. good. That is so good. Wow, it's even sweeter than the last one. I wonder what, how it's made. Wow, guys, this is super delicious. Alfonso, you want another bite? Mmm, I like that it still has a little bit of crunch too. Mmm, and I like the shape that it's in. It's super fun. Ah. Wow, guys, love this dessert. Recommend me a new one. Let me know where this dessert is from though. Is it from north? Is it from south? Really delicious, guys. Wow. Well, guys, I guess it's time to tell them too. Like this video, subscribe so you can so we can continue yeah. making content Make for you guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. Just like Alfonso said. And on that note, just keep on dancing. Keep on dancing. Oh, 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 oh.